Savor the moment. Crimson Tide of the Buckeyes for the championship of this most challenging, surreal season. And McCall will make a fair catch. Master Teague, who missed the semifinal game, back healthy tonight in the ball game. Fields looking for some space, and he'll be tripped up from behind. Had a chance to make the first down, but Christopher Allen grabbed his shoots up, and Ohio State goes three and out. Looks at the numbers and has two plays, generally every play, run or pass. Gets the ball to Smith in traffic, and Devontae flashes the speed, gets around the corner, and creates a first down before Williamson stops him. 106th catch in his Heisman season. Far and away the leader in catches, yards, and touchdown receptions. A little confusion there. Jones dumps it down. Catch made by Najee Harris, who makes a cut, breaks a tackle, and barrels into Ohio State territory. Tide on the move here, second and eight. Harris picks his way to the right, patiently gets the corner, and just barrels over Sean Wade. Another first down inside the 30. Yeah, you've got to be able to set the edge. They fake it to him, pitch it far side. Smith cannot juke free of seven banks. He's tackled right near the marker inside the 20. It's about the red zone. Squeezing down here. Does Bama score or do they kick field goals? Harris. Push wide. That's a terrific play by Wade who came off the corner to drop him for a loss. Tied best in the country at converting third downs. 59% is scary. Four-man rush. Jones flips it, and Waddle off and running. Welcome back to college football. Comes up a little lame, but he sets up Bama at first and goal. Jones is looking that way. Wasn't open, fires near side, diving catch. And Bolden spotted out short of the pylon. Slade Bolden, the sophomore from Louisiana. There's Garrett, who's very, very talented. Two tight ends and running behind a linebacker, Joshua McMullen. Najee Harris barrels in for his 25th rushing touchdown. Sometimes they wait and go fast late to try to get Alabama out of position. And Fields hands off to Teague, who does make the first down. That was a case where you might expect a quarterback run. Fields has time in the pocket, delivers downfield, and the catch is made by Olave. It's a first down in Bama territory. Fields went, protects it down the middle, one-handed tight end catch, Jeremy Rucker. Buckeyes are going to have to make plays like that tonight, as you said, if they're going to stay with this Bama offense. Teague runs left and scores, and Ohio State does answer quickly. What a drive. Jones, 6 of 8 in that drive, five different receivers. Play action on first down, looking to launch deep. Smith is wide open, makes a catch, and is spun out of bounds in Ohio State territory, but they lost the Heisman winner in coverage. Real chemistry with Jones. Mack looking to sling it again, far side, and there is the combination again. Devontae Smith is involved early. they throw into the near side, and dancing out of bounds is John Mechie. Howard to the right of the formation, Smith lined up to the left. They get it to him, and Devontae spun down. Physical tackle by Josh Proctor, the safety. Harris has it on second and nine. Middle was clawed, tries to bounce it, but the pursuit gets him. He still runs through some tackles and gets me a couple yards of the marker. Harris, first and goal. 230 pounder. Smith set to the left, tight formation. Jones flips it to him. Devontae headed for the end zone, and Alabama back on top. So can the Buckeyes answer again? Fields has time, delivers across the middle, and the strike gets made by Jamison Williams, first down. Buckeyes need seven on third. 
Blitz comes, Fields sidesteps it nicely. It's a fluttering pass into traffic, and the catch is made nicely by Garrett Wilson. Not that time, third and nine. Delayed blitz, passes high and off the hands of Teague. Fields is knocked down hard. Six catches in their first two possessions. Brian Robinson is in for Harris, but they flip it to Smith in the flat again, and that's an easy 11 yards on the edge before Banks forced him out. Bell faces the pressure there, lost the football, and Ohio State takes it away. Baron Browning falls on it. That's the play the Buckeye defense needed. Combined for three touchdown catches against the Tigers. Fields looking to throw on first down, gets good protection, end zone, out of the hands of Jamison Williams, and a flag comes in. Watch 28. Williams gets behind him. Teague barrels in. Touchdown, Ohio State. They cash in the fumble recovery and draw even. Sark used to call him McEnroe, John McEnroe, <laughs> because he would lose his cool when, when he was a young freshman and sophomore. That became his nickname. It cannot be serious. <laughs> right. He's grown. First down throw far side back shoulder throw. What a catch. And on the slant. This play by seven banks to contain Smith that time. An incredible wide receiver room recent years at wide receiver U. Buckeyes have a run blitz, but Harris gets through it and barrels for a first down tied on the move again inside the 35. Saban's favorite award is the Joe Moore Award given collectively to the guys up front. Bama's won it twice. Jones on the run. Don't see this often. Not known for his scrambling, but he picks up about Eight or nine there. Tommy Togiai, one of the Buckeyes unavailable tonight. In second and three, Jones is pressured, lobs it to Harris, who collects it, gets around Borland, and leaps to the end zone. A hat trick for Najee Harris. Can Ohio State keep the, the pace, though? Second and seven, Fields escapes. And looks pretty good as a runner there. Open field. And will finally step out of bounds. Some prudence at the end of the run, but it's a big play in Alabama territory. Has a guy that they've got to account for, but nobody accounts for the quarterback. Crank the tempo, and Teague breaks free down the sidelines. And barrels inside the 15 before battle forced him out. Buckeye striking back quickly. Teague, no. They forced him wide, and Christopher Allen drops him for a loss. Heels from the pocket, slant, and the ball is knocked out of the hands of Rucker, and a flag comes in. Is it targeting yet again? Battle delivered the blow. Rucker back in and back in motion on third and goal. Fields has time, fires, almost intercepted. Sertan came back, got a hand on it. Jake Seibert, 0 for 1. Missed his only field goal attempt so far against Indiana. From an angle. And knocks it through coolly. Glorified PAT from 23 yards. And so he'll pull it and throw the football. The lineman got to be careful. He was 4 or 5 yards downfield. Outland Trophy winner negates a first down catch. Doesn't matter. They find Mitch again back across the 35 move the sticks being the leading rusher for Bama off the bench Jones looking to throw far side has Smith in stride and the Heisman winner knocked out at the 15 monster night Wade up the tough night asked who do you want to cover he says you know who I want to match up against careful what you wish for and under pressure, flag comes in. Seven Banks was defending on Mechie. It's like your travel. He's an impact player tonight. <laughs> First and goal, Jones on the run. And it's just too easy for Devontae Smith as he just adds to his records and milestones. Crowley's the back. Bama bench jumping around, waving towels, hoping for a stop here. They dump it off underneath. No chance for Crowley. Tackled immediately by Christian Harris, and now Bama's going to get the football back. And the one catch earlier. 
Smith has to retreat. It's a screen. Harris turns it up and gallops into Ohio State territory at the 46. Play action. Jones steps up right down the middle of the field. It's touchdown. Devontae Smith cannot be stopped. A truly special performance by the Heisman Trophy winner. Olave against Sertan to the right side, bottom of the screen here. I'm just going to hand it off to Crowley, who will fall forward, and now Alabama will spend that time out. Jones looks over the middle. Harris again. Catch. Stiff arm. First down. Clock stops momentarily. They move the ball to the 44. Line back up. Jones again, and making the catch on his knees is Slade Bolden. Got Zach Harrison. Jumps off. Yeah. And move the ball five yards ball closer to the field goal range. Offense number 79. Still can't take a sack with no timeouts. Delivers across the middle. And no flag. Alabama one and one as Wade was covering Williams. And Tide unable to extend the lead before they get the football back to start the third quarter. Wilson comes up and they they ran into the punter running into the kicker receiving team number 32 that penalty is declined overwhelming offensive display by Alabama yet again they run 43 plays they gain 389 yards three more touchdowns he vaults past Ryan Broyles that's the most ever for a power five receiver career touchdowns figures to be a steady diet of one of those heads of the three-headed monster Najee Harris Debo won a national championship on this turf against Oklahoma it was a lot harder than this one appears to be so far and the big hit by Werner and back to catch the ball is Smith and that time the linebacker delivered a shot you know Waddle coming back onto the field You're looking at Smith's arm Big question was, would Jalen Waddell be able to defy the experts in the timetable and make a contribution tonight in an early 15-yard reception that set up Bama's first score? It's been used sparingly. Harris leaves his way to the 40. It'll be third down and six. And the slot, it's Mechie. First down near midfield. Jones steps up and delivers far side and back to catch the ball is Jalen Waddle. It's all about winning a championship. It's not about agents. It's not about the NFL and Waddle's a representation of that. Not this group for sure. Harris makes the catch and it's another first down. And there's another slant. Williams that time. Harris slips through some tackles and leans for a first and goal. They have not been able to get him to the ground. Doak Walker award winner. Third and goal. Bubble screen. Big shot delivered. Harris just absorbed that blow. Proctor eventually gets him down. And here's the first field goal attempt tonight from Will Reichert. Stays perfect in all of his field goals and PATs. Fields on the move, and it's Garrett Wilson coming back and making a nice catch. Top weapon, Chris Olave, has been held in check. Just two catches for 23 yards. Fields with a keeper, makes a cut, and in the clear. Justin Fields will finally be tracked down in the red zone, but that's the kind of spark they needed. Harris on the tackle. From the pocket, lofted to the end zone, high throw, cut, Wilson, touchdown, Ohio State still alive. Exactly what they needed. So with that towel over the right hand. Condensed formation, they'll try to get outside with Najee. Jones scrambles, pump fakes, and just flips it. And in stride, it's Billingsley, knocked out hard by Borland. 
They fake it to Robinson. Jones steps up, eludes pressure. You know, he's not an electric runner with the football, but he's got great pocket sense, doesn't he? His capability, instincts. Robinson again. Scoots into the secondary, still running, spinning, and banging down near the 10. That's Bolden who came in motion, got it in the flat, and got a touchdown. Slade Bolden dives into the end zone for his very first career touchdown, and Matt Jones there to celebrate. Take it to Teague. Fields rolls and fires to Olavi who comes back and makes a catch. Just his third tonight. It's a first down. And the Tide move around on their side. Hand off. And not getting there is Teague. It'll be fourth down. I know that Devontae Smith's the player of the game on the offensive side, but Barmore's having a big night. Fourth down, and Teague is dropped right on cue. That man again, Christian Barmore, with the tackle for loss, and the tie take over. Final 30 seconds of the third. That's Harris in motion. They fake it to him, and now fire downfield. Mechie in space, breaks a tackle, and dives down near the 15. He's quietly had a strong night. Fake to Harris on the slant. Mechie makes the catch is hammered hard by Proctor, but it's a first and goal inside the five. McMillan is the linebacker, lines up at fullback in front of Harris and behind number 40's block. Najee makes it look easy. Goes in standing up. There is his third touchdown. Jones projected as a late first rounder. Lave. Nowhere to run after the catch. Patrick Sutan was right there. His force is able to dis disengage from the tight end rucker. Third and 13 fields. Heaves it long. Catch a lobby that time. Fields wanted to launch downfield. Instead finds a lobby. They'll take the 11 and he steps out of bounds. And Marcus Crowley is the back. Fields. Avoids the rush and flips it to Smith and Jigba again. It's a first down. Yeah. Bama brings pressure. Fields has to step up and does escape. Gets a block on the edge. Nice one from Rucker. On the run, delivers a strike. Olave makes the catch and it's a first down. Barmore is just about to circle him, keep an eye on him. Third and goal. And Olave incomplete. Could not control the ball. Empty backfield for Fields. Against a four man rush. Can he get there on the ground? No, he fires high and incomplete. Off the hands of Julian Fleming. Delivered a fastball when he didn't need it. And, and you know what? He's won all this, the individual accolades and hardware. And he wanted to come back out on this field because he wants that big trophy. See the bandage around those two. It looks like the index finger and the middle finger. But Chris, he want, it was all about getting the big trophy tonight. That's why he had to get back out here, I'm sure. No doubt. Heisman's a pretty big trophy. Oh. Landon Dickerson, the Remington Award winning center, injured against Florida, was out there as the captain on the coin toss. And Alabama, it's that guy again, Christian Barmore. When he was Ryan Day's age, he was a long way from winning a championship. He was a defensive coordinator for the Browns. Of course, won the first title at LSU. Came down here to Miami. Coached the Dolphins for a couple of years. And now you're seeing Young. Many people thought he should get the job. Alabama fans were hoping he'd beat out Jones. And they thought, okay, Max, going to be a transitional quarterback until we get this hot shot in here. Oh, look at the big fellas coming in. How about this? Blew out his knee and a freak play late in the win over Florida. He thought he was done. He's lobbied so hard to have one little moment. Remember when he was taken off from the cart and all the teammates were hugging him? Show of respect. He's hugging every guy in that huddle. Really the glue of not just that offensive line, but a big part of the leadership. One of the pillars of this entire offense. Great to see coach giving him a chance to come out and play in the national championship. Great center and a gifted lobbyist because there's really no way he should be out there. But 
wonderfully given him a chance. And Justin Fields showed his toughness, his grit in the semifinal, could not duplicate that performance. In a season of chaos, the Crimson Tide are the conference. Constant excellence. Bama bludgeons the Buckeyes. And Saban steps past Paul Bryant with his seventh national championship. A moment that we weren't sure we were going to see, Kurt. The season does reach the conclusion. Alabama, an emphatic champion in 2020.